Before this video begins, make sure you guys subscribe. Also, make sure you join my new Discord server. Lastly, if you want some merch, the link is in the description. And make sure you follow me on all my social medias. Yo, what's up, guys? It's Nick from Against Gaming. Welcome back to another MLB The Show 21 Diamond Dynasty videos. Today, we have a relatively newer type of videos. I don't think I've ever done a video like this before. But today, we are going to be doing roster update predictions now the reason why i'm doing this is because i feel like a lot of people haven't been doing these anymore so i'm going to start doing them just see how i like it so yeah i have 10 players who i think could be upgraded in friday's roster update i'm gonna go through their stats and their ratings so yeah without further ado let's get into it as my controller was off for our first guy it's gonna be lance lynn now lance lynn I have going from an 84 to an 86. So Lance Lynn, yeah, he's really expensive right now. So I haven't really invested in him. I, he's probably going to go diamond. He has a 1.52 ERA with 35 strikeouts, a .98 whip. I think he's going to go from an 84 to an 86. This investment wouldn't relatively give you that much because he's already at 4K, but it's just one that I think is going to happen. Next is going to be another live series starting pitcher, and he's going to be of the Milwaukee Brewers. And no, it's not Corbin Burns. It's Brandon Woodruff, and he's already 5K. Now, Brandon Woodruff, he's an 83 overall. He is almost not underwhelming. No, yeah, not, not underwhelming. He's almost underrated with Corbin Burns' start. 1.73 ERA. 51 strikeouts, 0.77 whip. I have him going from an 83 to an 85. I think Brandon Woodruff is going to be a diamond. For our next starting pitcher, we're going to go to the Baltimore Orioles. And I think this one's pretty obvious. And yeah, John Means Price is completely infloated, infloated, inflated because people know he's going to go gold. So basically, John Means, we all know he threw no hitter, but he's done like really well besides that no hitter. He has a 1.21 ERA, 53 strikeouts, 0.71 whip. Really, really good numbers. This guy, he's probably going to go from a 76 to an 80. He, he's going to get a, a, four, a four rating jump. And he's his price is already sort of inflated. But there's our third player. Now we're going to go to shortstop. We're going to go, not to the Orioles, but to the Red Sox for Xander Bogarts. Now, I actually invested a little bit in him, in him earlier. Bought each of those for like 3K. And now he's up to 8K. I think if there's one lock for someone to go diamond, it's Xander Bogarts. He's hitting 341 with seven homers. And that's really what needs what he needs to go up in, in overall is power. And he's definitely going to get an increase. 65, 72 is not enough. He has seven homers on the year, 20 RBIs, 0.972 OPS. I think he's going to go from an 84 to an 86. So Xander Bogarts. Go to left field for the Yankees. Giancarlo Stanton is someone to keep on your radar. I don't think he's going to go diamond this week. I think he's going to get a bump to 84. The reason why I think he's going to go to 84 is because in the series against the Nationals, he sort of cooled off a little bit. But I still think he deserves to go up to an 84. Now, I'm a Yankees fan, so I watch the Yankees a ton, and I watch them a lot more than other teams. I watch them more than any other team by far. I watch almost every single game. So uh, I'm going to know when players are going to be are good, are going to be good to invest in a lot better than other people, I guess you could say. But I wouldn't invest in him yet. His price is going to go down if he doesn't get upgraded to diamond. But I think he's someone to keep on your radar. So, Giancarlo Stanton, now we're going to go to shortstop for the Blue Jays, and it's going to be Marcus Semien. Now, Marcus Semien, not only is he a beast in VR, as I have him in parallel too, I think he's going to go gold, and he is relatively cheap. He is not inflated like the other guys. Marcus Semien, now these stats might be a little underwhelming. 267 with 8 homers, 19 RBIs, and a .807 OPS. He had a horrid start. First week or two, he was absolutely horrible. He started out the year as a goal and went down in the first roster update. He has really picked it up as, 
as of late, he even has more homers than Xander Bogarts. So I think Marcus Simeon is going to go right back up to gold. 81, I have him going up to, from a 78 to an 81. Next, we are going to go to a reliever for the Yankees. And here's someone who I'm heavily invested in. Jonathan Loisega. As you can see, I have 166 sellable Jonathan Loisegas. I am very invested in Jonathan Loisega. Now, for my guy, Johnny Lasagna, right? So we started off the year on fire, like a sub one ERA. And then against the Nationals, he had his first bat out and gave up a couple runs, and it pretty much inflated his ERA. Now, his ERA is still really good. It's a 2.61, but that's really a lot higher than what he's actually been playing. He had one bad outing. Besides that, he's been an elite reliever, and you just got to believe me. He just has. Like, Jonathan Luizaga, before that one bad outing, I think he had a sub-1 ERA, and I he's still going to get upgraded, even if even though he had that bad outing. So 90, 90. He has 20 strikeouts as well, a .97 whip. I have Jonathan Luizaga going from a 73 to a 77. I think he might be able to even go gold in the future. So yeah, that's one of my biggest investments right now is Jonathan Luizaga. So we have three more cards. They are all starting pitchers. Two of them are in the NL East. Let's go to the first one. He is on the Philadelphia Phillies. It's going to be Zach Wheeler. Now, he's a 78 overall right now. He's around 600, 700 stubs. He has done pretty well. He's done a lot better recently, but I think he deserves an upgrade. 2.83 ERA, 49 strikeouts, 0.097 whip. Really good numbers. Now, 2.83 ERA is really good. I think he's going to get an upgrade to hits in case per nine. He's done really well with the strikeouts with 49. So I think the strikeouts per nine could go up. Yeah, I think this card is definitely going to go gold. So Zach Wheeler, someone on my radar to go gold. If we go to the White Sox, we have another White Sox picture. Picture, I was about to say pic picture, but it's pitcher. Carlos Rodon. Now here's another guy who threw no hitter, but... He's been elite, excluding that no-hitter. 0.58 ERA, 44 strikeouts, 0.68 whip. I think he's going to make the jump to gold in this roster update. I think he's going to go from a 76 to an 80. He has a 0.58 ERA. That's all you really need to know. This guy's going to go gold, without a doubt, in my opinion. And then the last card, we're going to go to the Miami Marlins. And it's going to be Pablo Lopez. Pablo Lopez is a 78 overall. He is ninth. He is like 300 stubs, roughly somewhere around there. 3.07 ERA, 43 Ks, and a 1.20 WHIP. Those numbers are not as good as the other guys on this list, but he's just shy of the gold ranking at a 78 overall. I think he deserves an upgrade. He's pitch. He's been pitching really well. If he gets that ERA below three, he might even go. Might even reach towards diamond. We'll see. But yeah. Pablo Lopez, keep him on your radar. So that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I've been your host, Nick, from Against Gaming. Also, if you make these investments and they don't work out, it's not my fault. Don't come crying to me. just want to say that, too. But yeah, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I've been your host, Nick, from Against Gaming. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.